community based financing is that Islamic financial institution they are giving out money to to you for example you have a project not you A A have a project Islamic financial institution give 1 million to these people to to A in order to uh, run their project as a working capital or whatsoever and the bank will be a mubarik not mubarik a rabul mal rabul mal okay in islam rabul mal any loss must be bear solely by the rabul mal so the bank will have to bear huge amount of risk if the project abandons or and not 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 successful right so the bank we have to know the bank is not a real trader in islam we want the bank to be a real trader but in some country they have rules they have state law which prohibit bank from being a real trader that's the problem okay so the bank is only financial intermediaries just like matchmaker between a woman and a man okay those who have surplus money and those who have this is short fund so the bank what the bank do is the bank will be a matchmaker those who have surplus okay you want to invest in something you have surplus money okay i have a people who want money in order to do this halal project you want to invest okay i can be i can introduce you All right that is financial intermediaries okay so that is like islamic finance is all about so if islamic finance want to be want to get profit they have they need to have a showroom they need to have they, they, they need to be a trader a real trader just like quick finance house here in bahrain they want to sell car they have showroom they purchase cars they put into their showroom if you want to purchase car you can go to their showroom purchase car by using murabaha that is a real trade trader but not all islamic banks at this moment uh at the position to to do this same uh transaction or the same 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 methods because the risk is very high because you have to have a person who have a good knowledge in cars and how to store cars and then uh, if the showroom uh, okay lot of problem all right so normally islamic banks at this moment they wouldn't want to go into that kind of uh, additional risk problem okay that is the first one and then secondly just like i said non trustworthy people and clients so if the bank give 1 million to the person on mudarabah basis as a rabul mal capital provider and you not you b a the cal client as a mudarib or entrepreneur so the in the islamic rule is capital provider cannot interfere in any way to the business wow if that so the client will be free in order to do whatever they thinks good for the business but how can the bank trust that kind of client is it possible for us for us to, to 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 get that kind of client very trustworthy client they will do the business rightfully and they will be very transparent in their balance sheet and reporting and anything about the business it's very difficult you know so that that that, that is also the problem why islamic financial institution today are unable to give out equity based financing all right so gradually gradually inshallah okay so no doubt no doubt this switch over has many practical issues to be solved but once the idea is accepted to be essential for reform the intellectual competence that was able to invent extremely complex sciences like financial engineering cannot be incapable of solving these kind of issues to put in simple way there will be no room for interest based loan okay so islam uh, solutions for the financial uh, crisis today we have to uh, get rid of the interest based loan 
This will eliminate the horrible mismatch between money and the real economy. Because interest based loan detach, detach from the real economic development. So for example, derivative, just like the figures that I have shown you just now, about 600 trillion US dollar. This 600 trillion US dollar is not attached to real economic development. It's only notional amount. We have to understand what is the meaning of notional amount. For, for simple uh, meaning, it's not real. Okay? It's just not real. It's not physical money in the market. It's just like fake money. Okay? It's not real. Not attached to the real development. So in Islamic finance, any uh, financing should attach to the real economic development. So the money in the market, when the money in the market is high, so the development of the country is also high. Okay, the traders also get a lot of benefits from the trading in the country. But the problem in interest, le interest loan, interest based loan and system, the uh, mismatch between money, uh, baggage money and the real economy. Okay, so uh, okay, just to wrap up uh, my lecture, uh, this is what happened in Islamic finance just like uh, today. In order to propose the gradual changes, gradual changes, so Islamic finance cannot avoid from mimicking or replicating what have what uh, all products in the conventional offered by the conventional market cannot avoid from that because investors. Regardless, Muslim investors or non-Muslim investors, they have used to use this kind of product. If they want to go to Islamic finance, they will ask the same product. Okay, we have con uh, derivatives. We have uh, uh, sale, debt sale in conventional. We have factoring in conventional. Do you have any fa Islamic factoring? It's very difficult, no? We have the derivative. We can uh, mitigate our interest rate fluctuation, volatility. So, do you have any product in Islamic finance? So, as a first step, Islamic scholars, with the help of Islamic bankers and experts, they have to have to find out ways on how to replicate the effect, the same effect, but the different engine. Different engine. Okay? The engine and the operation is are, are different. But the effect is almost the same. Is it haram? You are creating effect, the same effect, but the engine is different. Is it haram? So, most of the scholars say it's not haram because the engine is the contract, other contracts. All contracts will come with the conditions and tenets. The cornerstone. All the cornerstones and the condition must be adhered in order for the contract uh, 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 regarded as a valid contract. Okay? So, banks loan for Islamic finance, what they do is that they will offer debt financing. Ijarah muntahiyah bi tamlik, musharakah mutanaqisah, al ijarah istisna, murabaha lil amir bi shira, and many more. And also equity, mudarabah and musharakah. And then rebound investment. Okay, conventional they have investment arm. There is investment product. You deposit, you inject your capital with us, 1 million, we will give you back in return in 6 months, 1 million plus 3%, for example. So, Islamic finance, do you have any, any product like this one? Fixed interest rate. Fixed, 3%. So, in Islam, Mubarabah, you cannot fix any return. If you fix any return, that is not an investment from the Islamic standpoint. That is, a loan, because loan will always guarantee the capital, and then loan with interest is that return is being guaranteed. So it is not permissible in Islam. But yet investor are seeking for that kind of investment. Even Muslim investors in Malaysia, in Arabic countries, they are all seeking for secure fixed return. So. The scholars has been challenged. 
Okay. 